the hell? That is a good command, though. I w I'll give you that. Do we have any more sniper rifle bullets? I don't think we do. Yeah, we don't. Okay. Let's keep our shotguns out. And then our suppressed pistols. This should be... Damn, we had to cut this thing. Alright. Pistol, shotguns. <laughs> right, Steen? Right, Steen? Did you hear what she just said? She was like, hopefully the elevators haven't suffered any damage in the bat in the blast. <laughs> Unless you command it, Osh Trimmer. Why thank you. I appreciate the uh appreciate the sentiment. And so I think we have to jump. We might be able to jump to that. Let's try jumping to the Yeah, we good. I think the explosion just like murdered us. <laughs> the guy's like, don't worry about the safety brakes. Nothing can happen. I told you not to worry. These elevators are engineered to withstand anything. Who wants to guess what's gonna happen? If you think all four of the safety brakes are gonna break at one time, don't be a coward. Everything's fine. Oh look, one of them broke. Oh look, another one broke. Do you think a third one could break? Never. <laughs> Rip. <laughs> Steen's like facepalm. <laughs> Right? That's such a funny dialogue. <laughs> He's like... <laughs> He's like, you have no faith in these brakes. They're engineered to never fall. And you just walk up and just boop, 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 boop. Alright. <laughs> Tell him what's what, Eakin. Attack! What do you mean? Eakin's still timed out. You timed him out for ten minutes. Shit, I think we should have... <laughs> I think I found something. What do you see? Stop posting links. You... <laughs> Highly technological in nature. Here, Egan, you need me to permit you, buddy? Looks like Hebrew. I think the Nazi or Jasper can permit you if you want. All this stuff. Jasper, it's exclamation mark permit mics? and then his name if he needs permission to send Dog, a link. You should. Dog, Abel, apostrophe... Abel, Tara, Space, Yoke, Item, Charlie, Hal, Uncle Dog. You can do it. Might be any moderator can do it. Archives, Anya. See if you can find any references to dot Oh, it didn't go through for me. Oh wait, just kidding. I have it. Fergus timeline. Oh, the clip. Good catch. Be sure to bring as much of this dot you should stuff as you can carry. Will do. What? <laughs> Alright, one second. I'm, I'm gonna check this clip out. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I, I missed the donation. I think it might have been because you were timed out or something. But, uh... <laughs> let's say You made me do this. Way and please do not ban me. And P.S. Still here, Kappa. <laughs> Thanks for the do- <laughs> I made you talk that way. Thanks for the- <laughs> Thank you for the donation, Eakin. I really appreciate it. <laughs> oh, I actually completely missed the donation. Because of everything that was going on. <laughs> oh, GG. <laughs> And now you, <laughs> now you have the proof. You can put it on Reddit forever. Get me banned from Twitch permanently. <laughs> uh, but seriously, though, thank you for the donation, man. That that supports the stream a lot, and I really appreciate it. Okay. 
He can still awake, and we can't stop him from donating money. <laughs> all right, let's collect all the paperwork and stuff that we can find in here. Wait, is this the ultimate way to sell out? I need to ban everyone from chat. And if you want to talk, you have to talk through donations. That's it. That's the only way to talk to me. I think this is the ultimate... <laughs> this is the solution to all the streaming problems. <laughs> the ultimate sellout. Keep our pistol out, and then let's start melting some, uh... Oh, so we can't melt through this yet. We need to get the upgraded... The upgraded one. In order to do that, we need to remove this, which means we need to cut... These chains. I think we can do from, like, atop this box. Oh, we have to actually hop up here. By going up there. Oh, throwing knives. Where are those? Where are the throwing knives? There we go. <laughs> uh, <laughs> why Reddit when you have st <laughs> when you have a Twitter? That's true. That that also works. <laughs> Banned by request from streamer. <laughs> Kappa. One more. Oh gosh. You know, I can already feel the pain I'm about to subject myself to because this next area after here is brutal if you're not careful. <laughs> P.S. Do not look on your Twitter. <laughs> You said don't look on my Twitter? One second, chat. I have to check something that's entirely unrelated to the situation at hand. <laughs> Gappa. <laughs> Reminder that you aren't actually in this war and you won't feel the pain. <laughs> No, don't do it! <laughs> Isosceli Wolfenstein. The new order first timeline. Posted clip! No! My online reputation is ruined forever. <laughs> Jasper's like, my immersion. Alright, okay, so let's, let's trigger this thing real quick. Uh, yeah, let's press the button. And this should cut through this thing, allowing us to continue onward. You've ruined it all. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's funny. Steen, screw you. <laughs> Chat MVP, right? I need I need to get a sound like that. All right, let's cut. Let's cut this one open. Oh, so this is when when it gets weaponized finally. <laughs> Steen ruined all of the immersion. 5 a.m. <laughs> troll face. I see a small planning channel behind the north wall. Look for some form of access point near the floor. Okay. Should be everything in here, I believe. Let's go and recharge this before we keep going. Don't time me out. I might donate and that would be tragic. What what have you got timed out? I thought timing people out incentivizes them to donate. That's what happened with Ekin, right? <laughs> All right, so we should be good. Oh, God, that kind of hurt. Imagine that, blowing up the cylinder made, uh, caused me pain. Okay. But yeah, this is gonna, this is gonna be, this is gonna be brutal. About two floors up is an access point leading directly into the hangar. Okay. So we break these locks, we get pulled up or down? I don't remember. Guessing we'll go. Wait, where are we gonna go? Oh, we can just climb this. Okay, well, let's break them for fun anyway. With our expendable ammo. Yeah, 
Egan, you played Total War? I'm so bad. <laughs> Jasper, unban Steam. There you go. Oh, wait, it should. There you go. I think <laughs> Jasper timed you out. And please, one hour time out. I cannot. I cannot tipping and sleep on the same at the same time. <laughs> well, <laughs> I w listen here, Egan. I will time you out, but you can't donate me more money. <laughs> you need to just go to sleep. Jasper, drop the hammer. Give Egan the hour ban, the hour time out. He he truly desires. I think this is the way. Let's look for some treasure here real quick. Thanks for this short time out eye roll. The hangar is where the Project Whisper helicopter prototypes are kept. Oh, I think there's a treasure in here or something. No! Let's look real quick. Uh, let's use this. Ooh, that is kind of scary, right? I don't know how many seconds are in an hour. Wait, you have to... Okay, I, I mean, I can do it. It just says one hour. 3,600. Wow. <laughs> what do you mean? When you time someone out, it, it tells you it in seconds? It's kind of weird. Mine says it in minutes. Okay. <laughs> now, let's go ahead and switch this over to auto fire. Recharge it. And then there must be something hidden in here because. Wait, what the hell? Oh, hell yeah! Nice. Very cool. Gold pocket flask. That, that is the third one. The third one we have. Does the streamer even participate? What do you mean, so behind? The streamer is streaming. <laughs> Hate to break it to you. He is involved in in-depth explorat explorative gameplay that he is providing <laughs> for his wonderful viewers. Oh shit, we need to we need to grab the throwing knife we dropped. Oh come on. It actually fell through down Damn it, dude, that sucks. Alright, let's get our pistol out. I really like the throwing knife. Get this out as our secondary. This is, this could be brutal. We've done this area like ten times because it took us so long last time. All right, we're gonna go to the right here, so we know exactly where they all are. We're gonna go to the right here, grab all of the loot in this area. Used to be easier. You didn't have big honking robots. Used to be easier <laughs> when you didn't have big honking robots and I had an army. All right. Okay, got tons of ammunition. So what's gonna happen is we're gonna go through here and we're gonna kill both these guys. But then we have to kill everything in the room to further the objective. Oh shit, not good. Okay. Nope, don't look here, don't look here, don't look here. Okay, we're good. All right, so the first guy we're trying to kill is right up this, right up this stairway, right there. There we go. He's dead. Then we find a pretty substantial upgrade to our laser weapon, the laser craft work, in this area. We also find some sniper rifle ammunition, which is really good. Because um, we're going to use it quite a lot. So now it's fully automatic, which basically just allows us to unload on these guys and do a lot more damage. So here's how it's going to work. We're going to keep our sniper as our primary. Laser craft work as our secondary. 
And then we're gonna go silently kill this last guy from this turret in this, uh... In this helicopter. And killing it from the turret in the helicopter will allow us to also shoot right down and kill this guy. Kill him. Kill this guy. So now what's gonna happen is a lot of people are gonna flood into this area. So we're gonna take cover in here and shoot them all. They take a lot less damage on this on this difficulty mode actually. Which is kind of interesting. Oh! Alright, so that is out of ammunition. We're gonna go ahead and re reload this guy right here. Alright, and that kills him. And now that this guy is dead, all of everyone is gonna start coming out after us. So on this difficulty, they actually can tank. Three sniper rival shots, which is quite a lot, actually. Where is this guy? Where'd they go? There he is. Shit. They always make a lull. And I think it's over. And I come out and then they start shooting at me again. Shit. Okay. We need to take it a little bit slower here. Gotta be smarter than the pigs. Yeah, the problem is there's like a thousand pigs. Only one of me. So at some point, these guys will stop coming out. Um, and a giant robot will bust through. And the giant robot is can take a lot of... Okay, there it is. Okay. It can take a lot of damage, but... He can't fire, we learned this last time, he can't fire underneath these things. So he can just sit under here with the um, laser craft work and just auto auto fire him on, on to him until he's dead. Which works out really well. Let's go ahead and regenerate our health. Grab some grenades and ammo for later. All right, here this guy is. Shit. And then we can just recharge this 
And we have expendable ammo. And as long as we take it slow and don't rush. He never really seems to pick up on it and kill us. Shit. The only thing we really have to watch out for is the grenades. But it does take a while, especially on this difficulty mode, because one of the ways they make things more difficult is they add more... A lot more health to the enemies. And one way to speed this process up is to grab grenades and chuck them at them. Obviously, because grenades do damage to them. There we go. So, that final boss thing, or whatever it is, actually ends up being a little easier than the rest of the area. Because it's so easy to manipulate the fact that it can't move around successfully in this area. Okay, we've got our throwing knife back. Um, and now, basically what we're doing is we're coming in here to steal these giant helicopters. See these? Um, they're, like high, they're like the highest level of technology available. And so it's only 1960 and radar and human perception can't pick up these things. And so basically it's going to give the rebellion like access to pretty much every place in the world. Um, let's grab some health. And free flight around... Germany and all that stuff. That's why we're here. Okay. So we're going to open the hangar to this area. Then our buds, all of the pilots that we know, are going to um, paraglide in here from a tower near here. And when they do paraglide in here, they're going to steal all these helicopters. And once we've gotten the helicopters, obviously, since no technology can detect them, uh, we can just fly away. <clears throat> cool. Let's do it. I love the music in this game. Have I said that? I've said that many times. One of them, one of the people paragliding in is actually completely crippled. She has to wear a wheelchair around. This is her. But she is a badass, um, pilot. Oh, we need to put her. We need to put her in the in the the seat, <laughs> the actual seat. All aboard! All aboard! Doo -doo. How did you survive? I thought you were dead. Don't remember much. Touch and reunion remember between her and Caroline. In the face. Remember ascending into the sky. For a moment there, I thought it was going to heaven. Then falling. Then pain. First pain of my life. Felt like my insides were running out through my back. Could barely move. Had to crawl. So they found me after three days in a ditch. Long months in a crisis hour hospital bed. They were shoving tubes in me. Infection. Ugh, these things I don't want to remember. I'm sorry about your legs. Don't be. I've learned how to fly. <laughs> Man. 
Max Hoss! Open in the doors for us. Never going to fit, Caroline. <laughs> yes, will. Trust me. Hey, well, never. What a swell guy. I know. I love Max Austin. Awesome. Have you finished complaining? For now, this is top priority. What is the dot you should? How can we get in contact with them? So these people, and we'll find this out shortly, um, are a secret corporate, a secret organization that's been around for thousands of years, and they're basically re they're just a research-based organization that like worships research. William, I could use your help. Could you come over here for a second? What could you use my help with, Anya? I found some interesting leads. This parchment describes um, a way to create a type of super concrete. This is what the Nazis have used to build all these concrete monstrosities around here. Yes, everything, even this place. This is the only concrete they used. This is how they created all those, those cities so quickly. Now that we know where it comes from, I need a sample of it for closer study. Can you look around here for a piece of exposed concrete that shows an outbreak of mold? It should be porous enough for you to cut me a sample. Whatever you need. Also, there was this encrypted list of Dat Yishud members in Poland during the war. I need to compare it with the official German state records on Jewish citizens in the years between 1939 and 1945. Can you see if those records are in the archives room? I'll get right on that. And there's uh, one more thing. Um, it's quite critical. Oh, that's so sweet. That'll be all. We can go now. All right, so we're going to be, tr be trying to find some concrete that is moldy for her to analyze, as well as um, going to the archive uh, to uncover information on Dach Shud or whatever it's called. Oh, this is the this is Tekla, the kind of crazy lady. This is our pantry. Let's go look in Tekla's room real quick. I think there's something. There's usually stuff we can do in the, in these side characters' rooms. Maybe not though. I love how like there's nothing in here but like a single chair. It looks very uncomfortable in the middle of the room. And a chalkboard. We've actually already read all these, so we're just gonna flash through them to make them stop blinking on screen. All right, this is locked. We need to find the key of the archives to actually get in. The mold, the mold is down here. We know where it is. The key to the archives is in Fergus's <clears throat> hands. Uh, but that is going to be it for me today. Um, I had a blast playing this game with you guys. Um, I'm really enjoying it. I love playing this game the first playthrough and just upping the difficulty a little bit and getting to see an alternate timeline where we're... Um, hanging out with Fergus, um, killing killing the Nazi pigs with Fergus is uh, quite the treat. <laughs> but yes, I will be back tomorrow at 6.30 p.m. EDT as usual. Um, it is Terror Thursday tomorrow, so we'll be trying to play a um, terror or horror-based game, potentially Darkwood. Maybe if we find something else along the lines of that, we will play that as well. 